Here we arrive at the well. Wells are only found in fully terminated tombs. The space is intended to represent the Nu, the primordial water abyss. It is not intended to trap the looters, but to evacuate the rainwater that flows into the tomb. The Pharaoh has successfully travelled his nighttime journey in Ra's bark. He has triumphant over death and can now enter the world of the gods as Osiris Ramses. The goddess Hathor materializes the passage into the divine world. She welcomes the pharaoh besides Osiris and several other protecting divinities. Horus's four sons associated to a goddess protect the viscera of the deceased. They keep watch during the night of the royal embalment before installing the coffin in the burial chamber. After the wells, we'll now visit the pillar room, which was originally closed off by a wooden door. The large panel in front of us shows Ramses III offering a statue of Mat to the great god Osiris. On each of the four decorated pillars, the king is represented twice giving offerings to diverse divinities. Some of them are gods of Heliopolis, hence related to the sun, and the others are gods of Memphis, related to the creation. The wall on the left side of the room, to the east, is dedicated to the fifth hour of the Book of Gates. It also describes the nightly journey of the Bark of Ra. Appearing during the New Empire, it is very inspired by the Book of the Amduat, and similarly is divided into 12 hours, each hour split into three registers. In the upper register, a coiled survey rope is held by the men from all four directions. It represents the serpent, the time swallower, or the serpent, the duration of life. In the middle register, in front of Ra's bark, nine mummy-like gods dominate the serpent Apophis, the mortal enemy of Ra, so that he will not slow down the bark. For the lower register, 16 characters in groups of four are depicted. They represent the different races of mankind known to the Egyptians. To the right, the west side, the wall is dedicated to the sixth hour of the Book of Gates. In the upper register, 12 men are holding a forked stick. They have killed the serpent devourer who dies while heads come out of his body. After in this register, 12 gods are pulling a rope from a mummy named Akin. The loops of the rope represent the hours the gods will save and change. 
In the middle register, the bark is pulled by four haulers. It is preceded by 14 gods with their arms hidden, carrying the invisible body of the sun. The bottom register shows 13 blessed mummies waiting to be revived. They are resting on a huge bed in the form of a serpent, who is also a time marker serpent. After the Dorothy Annex, 12 gods with outstretched arms are heading towards a circle inhabited by a cobra and guarded by two mummy-formed genuses. It is the fire hole where only Osiris can enter. In the middle of the west wall is another room devoted to the seventh hour of the Book of Gates. At each side of the entrance, two goddesses make a gesture of welcome. The wall on the east side of the room shows two large panels representing the king and three important gods of the Egyptian pantheon. Ramses is led by Tot and Horus on the north side and is making an offering of mat to Osiris on the south side. All around these scenes are the registers of the seventh hour of the Book of Gates whose theme is the elimination of all forces who are hostile to the revival of the sun. On the two lateral walls, workers collect all the food necessary for eternal life in the afterworld. The theme on the end wall is completely different. Two groups of blessed with arms in the air as a sign of joy cover all the upper register. They have passed God's judgment and have earned eternal life. In the bottom register, the enemies are condemned and will be wiped out. Tied together in pairs to the piles of Geb, they wait for punishment approved by Ra. We cannot go any further. The lower part of the tomb is almost completely destroyed and public visiting is not allowed. So you will have to rely on the writings of the first visitors to have an idea of the decorations. In the burial chamber, the red granite coffin was open and the coffin lid broken, presumably since antiquity. In 1823, the coffin weighing 18 tons and the cover weighing seven tons were transported to England by Giovanni Belzoni for the British consul, Henry Salt. The coffin is decorated with the Book of the Amduat on the outside and the Book of Gates on the inside. On the coffin lid, the king is surrounded by Isis and Neftis. Protected by guardian gods, Osiris Ramses waits for the arrival of the Bar of Ra so his regeneration can begin. The coffin lid is still in the Cambridge Fitzwilliam Museum. The coffin itself was purchased by Champollion the King Charles X. Since May the 15th, 1856, it is visible in the Louvre in Paris. The Pharaoh's mummy was discovered nearly 70 years later in a hiding place in Dar el Bari, together with over 30 other mummies, including Ramses II and Seti I. It was exposed in the Egyptian Museum in Tahrir Square, Cairo, for over 100 years. But on the 3rd of April 2021, it was one of the 22 mummies which made up the Royal Parade transferred to the new National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in the south of Cairo. I want to thank you for accompanying me to the end of the visit. I hope to see you again in the next video.